Welcome back folks to Vulnerabilities 1002, C Family Software Implementation Vulnerabilities, a nice generic name. So let's continue where we left off from Vulnerabilities 1001, because this class is not meant to stand alone. This class fully expects that you've already completed Vulnerabilities 1001, because we're just going to pick right back up and use all the same terminology and conventions that we used in that class. But we do have a few new words of power, the things that uh, attackers should concern themselves with because they potentially give an attacker an advantage. Things like uninitialized or initialized or uninitialized. Things like shared memory or the lack of mutual exclusion on shared memory. That could be a problem. Things like reference counting that could lead to retain release leading to freeze that are premature and also the interpretation of data as multiple types. All of these things are going to be words of power, things that should set off your sploity sense. Because, as with Vulnerabilities 1001, this class is once again predicated on the idea that if you continue to read about vulnerabilities, the more that you see, the better you develop your pattern recognition, and eventually you too can become a vulnerability hunter with a good sploity sense. And as always, we want you to program paranoid, because it's not really paranoia if they out to get you.